Hi, I'm Stephanie Manley with Copycat.com. I'm going to show you how to make KFC buttermilk biscuits. They make some of the most fabulous biscuits and you can make them too. I have a couple secret ingredients in this recipe. I'm using self-rising flour because it's nice and consistent. I'm adding a little bit of cream of tartar to this to give the biscuits a little extra lift. I'm also using some sugar to give the biscuits a nice sweet flavor. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in butter. You can cut in cold shortening. And when I say cut it in, we are going to put our fat in and then we're going to take either a pastry fork like I have or you could take a regular fork. And you're just going to try to bring the butter incorporated into the flour mixture. You're going to do this until it's reached a nice pea size like what I've just shown you here. Next I'm pouring in my buttermilk because these are buttermilk biscuits. I'm going to stir these up. You don't want to over stir your biscuits or they will become tough. I'm going to take my breadboard. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on there because my dough may be a little bit sticky. I'm going to shape my dough into a nice round form and I am going to use a rolling pin and roll out my dough to about three quarters of an inch thick because we want nice thick biscuits. I'm using a large measuring cup here to cut my biscuits with. You can use a biscuit cutter. If you don't have one of those handy, you can use a drinking glass. I've used wine glasses. I've used champagne glasses when I like nice small biscuits. Here you can see that I've reworked the dough and I'm cutting out one last biscuit. You can do this, but be careful not to do it too much or once again, your biscuits may become tough. So next I'm going to put my biscuits on a shiny cookie sheet. I'm not going to use any grease or oil, so these are, it's an ungreased cookie sheet. The biscuits will be nice and brown on the bottom. So next I'm going to put these biscuits into a very hot oven, and I'm going to bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. So if you'd like this recipe, go to copycat.com, and you can see this recipe.